So welcome back. Why do I qualify? Before I formally introduce myself, I'd like to explain what a typical day looks like, albeit no day is ever identical. So getting up 6 o'clock till 7am, I run my rating software and system builder. This generates my daily selections. I check the national and local weather forecasts and consume a couple more cups of coffee. 7am to 8am. I cross-reference all my system data versus the weather forecast, check for advised non-runners, compare all the odds of selections against the best odds guaranteed bookmakers and bet fair just to check for extra value. 8 o'clock till 9am. Get my personal bets on. Never any more than three in one day. This actually takes a little bit longer than you may think as I distribute my bets across many different bookmakers and bet fair because maintaining my accounts is very important to what I do. I post all the selections to my existing clients for the different tipping services that I operate. I like to get the tips out early so my clients can take advantage of the first year prices and any uh, early Betfair value. 9 till 10, coffee machine back on and then I read any new articles in the Racing Post or other articles that have actually taken my eye over the past 24 hours from various online websites. 10 till 12, a bit of time for me. I either go for a run or go to the gym. Keeping healthy has become a very important part of my life, given that I'd let myself go a little bit having worked away from home for so long and spent far too much time in the hotel bar. So 12 o'clock, it's back to work. I performance review all of my microsystems or start researching and testing new angles for new systems. This time is really important to me and it's the time I wouldn't sacrifice because the trends in horse racing are constantly changing and to be a success, I have to be at the forefront of identifying any changes and new ideas. So most of the afternoon, two till five, always have the racing on in the background. The days of watching and re-watching every race and making notes have long gone. My methodology has completely changed, freed up my time and allowed me to live a far more balanced life. I was at one point very obsessive, but it wasn't healthy for me or my family and I was eventually to realise completely unnecessary. Five o'clock till ten o'clock, this for me is very important, it's family time. I may have an evening runner, but the rule of thumb is not to try and get too involved with anything to do with racing. 10 to 11, I check all my day's results and bring all my records up to date. Now I really don't know how this day sounds to other people, but I absolutely love what I do and I'm passionate about the area in which I work. So who am I? My name is Simon Patton and I'm a professional gambler, horse racing tipster and betting advisor. When people ask me what I do, I prefer to use the term odds investor. I've been betting on the horses since I was 16 years old, but only started to take it really seriously about eight years ago. My success as a part-time better finally convinced me to quit my job as a board director for a large UK bus organisation, Summerfield. I was now betting on the horses full-time, and I have to say, I have never once looked back or had a moment's regret. This is not to say, however, that I haven't made mistakes or gone through some very steep learning curves, which I most certainly have. When I was doing well in my part-time betting, my approach to identifying selections was purely through form reading. This would mean finishing work and then back to the hotel. My job was actually based in the southwest, so we're spending a lot of time away from the northeast to scour the following day's race cards. As I had restrictions on my time, I would specialise in certain sorts of racing, which back then was national hunt handicaps. My approach was bringing me success and I felt like all the hard work was paying off. So after Summerfield finally sold to Corp, I took the opportunity to take the plunge and move to gambling full time. My thinking was that with more time available, my analysis would be even stronger and my performance would further improve. To cut a long story short, my performance probably maintained its previous level, which allowed me to make a living, but I was spending 10 hours a day either analyzing or watching racing. Whilst I loved it, the reality was I was becoming a little obsessed and not really moving forward. So what changed everything? It was early in 2012 when I attended a seminar that was promoting Betfair betting software and I met a guy who introduced me to the concepts of horse racing systems and microsystems. When I talk about systems, I don't mean the ones that you pay £29.99 for on Amazon. In my experience, 90% of them don't produce long-term consistent profits. I know, because I've probably tried most of them in my early betting years. I mean the development of betting systems using specific software, of which there are a number of good products on the market. I base this on specific angles and strategies. This was a bit of a revelation for me, and because I'm naturally a very analytical person, it really played to my strengths. As a result of this, I purchased some software and set about testing different theories. I really wanted to see if this worked, 
and I actually stopped most of my betting for six months, as I didn't have enough time to do both. I also read a lot of historic racing books, just to find small nuggets for different angles. The process involved identifying an angle, back testing it, and where there were signs of encouragement, paper trading it for 8-12 to 12 weeks. As the different software has evolved, it has become a far more sophisticated process now, and you have the benefit of some fantastical statistical information that any mathematician would be proud of. This validated past and expected future performance. By the autumn of 2012, I developed my first three systems that I was using for my day-to-day -day betting. The biggest advantage was that where previously it was taking me four to five hours to prepare for an afternoon's racing, it was now taking me one hour, probably at the most. This ultimately allowed me to spend more time refining my current systems and developing new ones. I also had more confidence in the bets I was making, and it became mentally much easier to deal with the inevitable losing runs that happen to every better at some point. I was also much clearer on my expected return on investment, and therefore able to project my bankroll requirements and staking plans. So then what? Well first of all, and most importantly, my performance improved and return on investment increased threefold. As I had more time on my hands, I started to think about other areas where I could develop in the betting arena. And as a result, I started to prove some of my systems to various betting websites. As a result, in 2013, I launched my first ever tipping service based on my systems. And due to their success, I was asked to write articles on the subject for various betting sites and review other paid for services in the market at Betting Rant. This got me thinking about how it would be great to offer a more rounded service, where as well as giving the tips, I could offer some education or advice in different areas of betting on the horses. My view is that if I can help people to avoid some of the mistakes I made or speed up the learning process, that has to be a good thing. So what are others saying? Here's some examples of some reviews that I've received over the previous 12 months. So here's an example of a review from Betting Insiders. After a promising start last month, this service has a very impressive August. There are 21 winners from 79 selections and a profit in the month of 62 points. The cumulative position after a short two months is 39 winners from 149 selections and 86.59 points profit. This is after any Rule 4s or 5% Betfair commission where applicable. As you will know, I'm unhappy with the majority of services who show their results excluding these deductions, which can be significant. But after corresponding with Simon, whose service it is, he is now reporting results after taking these into account. This shows the confidence in his results, and after exchanging emails, tell me that, tells me that he's a genuine guy, which I'm sure many of you have found out the hard way, which is often not the case. The return on investment on this service today is an impressive 29%. Let's hope September continues in the same vein. Regards, Rod. Here is a review for more money review. They're notoriously difficult actually to get a review off, let alone get a positive one. I will leave you to read the review in its totality. I will just give you some snippets from it. Over the last 60 days of this review, I made a profit of 93.68 points. At just £10 a point, this is a very nice £936.80 profit before you pay your subs for the service. Clearly, you can work out how much that would work for you, depending on how much you bet per point. In summary, if you want your betting bank to grow steadily, Pattern profits can certainly help you to achieve this aim. I am voting with my cash and my subscription to this service is set to continue. Need I say more? I would just like to point out there is a paragraph here that states that the odds were between 2.0 and 21. But just to put you know to put it absolutely straight, I never bet at odds below 3.5. So I'm not really sure where they got that number from. They have been informed about it, um, but it appears not to have been changed. The average tip or the average odds that I sent out was 5.95, which is pretty much in line with my average over every month I've traded. Here's some more reviews and testimonials. Very, very impressive service. Superb value for money. Excellent service. Top class. Already paid for itself after the first day. Highly recommended. Great service. Email correspondence, excellent. Made my monthly sub back on first day using £2.50 a point, excellent. Top blog, would recommend. Well worth the money, in profit after the first tip. Absolutely brilliant, double my money in two weeks. Excellent percentage of level of winners. This man is good. Absolutely fantastic service. Without a shadow of doubt, the best tips I've used. Even after a poor second week, still 50 points up after three weeks. Nice and steady. Prompt communication and over 40 points profit this month. Enough said. Excellent service, up about 50 points to two point stakes in two weeks. Slow first week. But since then, decent weekly profits, 
Good and reliable. Recommended. Profits racking up with some nice winners. Looks the real deal. 14 days in and in excess of 20 points profit. So my proofed results. My pattern racing profits recent results. In September there were 22 winners from 80 selections and a profit of 64.78 points. After nearly three months there have been 61 winners from 230 selections and a cumulative profit of 181.15 points for a return of investment of 31.71%. The service has been running since April with no losing months and over 435 points profit. The monthly breakdown is as follows. April plus 45 points. May plus 129 points. June plus 79 points. July plus 33 points. August plus 83 points. And September plus 64 points. My bets down. The proof. Now I just want to show you through one of my betting accounts. I would love to show all my accounts but I have to protect myself and my business. The reason for this is if any of the bookmakers got wind of what I'm doing they would shut my accounts down immediately. I've already had a number of accounts closed over the years. Right I'm just logging into my bet365 account. So I just want to just to show give you some transparency about what I do and the fact that I do actually bet on uh, well first of all that I'm successful in what I do and secondly in that, in that I actually do put the bets on that I give out for tips I just want to just briefly just go back a month or two and just I'll go, I'll show you a monthly summary I'll show you um, a week by week week by week summary and I'll also show you some daily bets so you you're very clear that uh, I do what I, I say I do so it's just going to go into history I'm just going to pick August. So I'm going to go to Settle Bets. Could, I think it's also very important to point out that I use multiple accounts, um, having had accounts closed down and having had Best Out Guarantee taken off me. I'm f far more careful now about um, who I bet with and how much I bet with each bookmaker. I probably have 10 live accounts that I would use probably week to week. Um, I use certainly four of them way more than the others so my daily bets are spread across at least four bookmakers people expect if you're a professional gambler to be using betfair all the time um, but ultimately i don't use betfair that much uh, because you don't get the best odds guarantee august here yeah. i'll show you some september as well um so first of august uh, see i got that right okay i'm going to show this First of all, let's give you a feeling I've got nine nine pages of bets. Um two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um so you know it's nigh on eighteen hundred bets probably, which sort of ties in with the three a day, which is what I do. So first of all, you know that's um looking quite cautious um from from my betting and how often I bet and how many bets I place per day. So first of all I just want to talk about just let's run through this first page. Um clearly there is it's quite a low strike rate on this page but two decent bets with two decent winners you can see the mixture of odds that i'm betting at some are each way some are singles more singles than each way actually quite quite mixed on this page which is it's probably about 50 50 but normally i'm saying more around 80 percent singles 20 percent um, each way and you'll see no the lowest bet on this page is actually 3.5 which is my cutoff five to two um but the rest are so a complete mixture of odds. Actually, quite high average odds on, on this page, and a couple of winners. I'll just go to page two. Lower average, lower average odds this time. You'll have some three point five, three point seven five, three point seven fives. Far more singles on this page. In fact, they're all all singles, one percent singles on this page. Once again, three out of twelve, twenty five percent strike rate. Um, pretty much in line with where I am. My you know my strike rate average between twenty six and thirty three percent. Um, which I want to, it pains to point out that means you know you you're winning one in three, one in four bets, but given the average odds and the strike rate, that means you're profitable. I think a lot of people miss that concept and expect you expect tipsters to be giving them 
you know, 70% strike rates, which is fine if you're laying, but we know we're never laying, we're always backing. So, you know, a 33% strike rate or a 26% strike rate, average odds of 6.3%, or 0 sorry, is going to make you very profitable. Um, and you've seen my return on investment numbers. So let me just move along to the month's totals. So this is one account. I've said I'm betting probably on four accounts. Uh, I don't want to show you the, the accounts for reasons I've already explained. But this account has made me just over £1,500 in the month. Um, so if I extrapolate that over you know, over four, you can see the sort of numbers that I made in August across across my four accounts. Now there will be some other bets made in other accounts also. So it may be a little bit higher than that. Um, but you know, if, if it's 6K, if it's 10K, it's, it's the, those are the sort of numbers we're talking about splitting across um, four or five different betting accounts. Um, and I would say that that's pretty, pretty standard um, for a month. Uh, I don't set myself targets because I think that's the wrong thing to do. Betting is all about the long game. Uh, I completely understand when you're purchasing services, it is people are focused on the short game as well. But ultimately, you've got to take a long view of betting. There will always be bad weeks. You know, there'll be bad days. Uh, personally, I don't look month to month even. I look way beyond that. I look six months to six months probably. But understandably, um, people will look month to month. But it, you'll have seen from my previous stats, I've never had a losing month. Uh, and my lowest ROI has been 20%. My lowest points return has been um, 30 points. So um, this is this is quite a, quite a standard month. So let's let me move on. I'll just take another few weeks through this. Just go to September. You'll also maybe notice that if you can keep an eye on some of these, or you'll go back, you'll be able to see from my proofing because um, you can download the Excel file that these are exactly the same advice as I'm giving out. So I'm absolutely betting on the tips that I give, which is fundamental to what I I do. I'm very very transparent. So first September to. Sunday, so that's right. So that's another. So look at the end of the end of the week. I really don't know what this is. Um, okay, so that's a six hundred pound six hundred pound week on bet three six five. So once again, if it's over four or five bookies, you can see the sort of um, scale. And once again, you can see here on the last page, there's some more smaller bets here I've been doing. But on the this is a really good day actually. Oh, the, the other thing to point out. The fifty pound fifty pound returns are just non runners. So um that's just another example week. I'll give one more I've got the next week. So this is six weeks on the trot, so clearly the purpose of this is I'm not picking weeks out. These are six consecutive weeks of betting. Um so just so you don't think I'm picking weeks at random to give you, which I'm clearly not. There's potential there's potential for me to have a losing week here of course. <laughs> I think it's unlikely, but we've got there, we've got a uh, 300, 320 pound week there, so a little bit lower. Um, once again, split over four or five bookies, so still, I think anyone's uh, anyone's game is still decent profits on a week on a week to week basis. So I hope that I hope that helps, and it, it just shows that you know these are real live accounts, and that I am um, first of all you'll be able to see that I'm actually betting on what I on what I advise, and more importantly, you'll see the sort of size of the odds and the the ratio of singles to each way and the types of average odds that I'm, I'm getting. And you can see that I'm a real gambler and I'm betting on the advices that I give. Thank you. Just to say, this is one of the accounts that I've had a problem with in that I've lost my best odds guarantee, which is, a, to be honest, a bit of an issue because I say they do tend to have stronger early early prices, but it was my completely my own fault. And I probably went, I'm well, not probably about it, I went out of line with my normal betting strategy of spreading it around. I spread it around a lot more now since it's happened on this account. Um, so because of the impact it's potentially had. So whilst I can still log into my account, uh, I can't use best odds guarantee, which in, in essence for me means it's a useless bookmaker. Um, unless I was really confident, really confident that the prices were never gonna drift and were only gonna come in. And well, even if I'm really confident that, it's it's still a bit of a waste doing that when there's always the potential that could drift out and I could miss out on half a point, three quarters of a point. And those points make a massive difference at the end of the month, year, week. Um, just been talking about this recently actually, about if you know, some some professional gamblers work to you know, maybe a 10%, 15% ROI, and actually even that's pretty positive. 
actually getting another half a point here, three quarters of a point there, could be that 10 to 15 percent ROI at the end of the year. And I don't people just don't appreciate that. So getting the best value, I mean, I, I do all this for you because I will do all that checking out, and I can guarantee the point I send any bet out, you will be able to get those odds on the bookmaker. I tell you, I'm not definitely not one of these people who will tell you you can get a price and then the price is not available because you're quickly going to get realize that and you're quickly you know i'm going to lose your your custom because of that but a lot of people still do that because whether they're proofing or for whatever reasons it look, makes them look better and they can report better results uh, i can guarantee you at the time i send it out you will be able to get the price available i would have got it first but trust me um but my bets that i put on unless it's on betfair on a very weak race and not really going to affect the market in any anywhere anyway let me just quick check this out so one day i was i'd already backed this horse interestingly enough and the price was just too good and so i lumped on <laughs> on bet victor again and um ooh, nothing in july maybe it's earlier than july so look at june so i lumped on uh and it duly won and it was right towards the end of the month. Here we go. So, Evita Peron got fours for it. Um, I'd already been on it at 3.5 and went in for 500 quid because the price was just too good. Really fancied this horse. Um, didn't have time. It was quite late on, not long before uh, the race was run. Lumped on, won. Really happy with myself. Today was the 28th, end of the month. Got a notification that my bog <laughs> had been cancelled um, from July actually it was onwards um, and therefore this single bet probably has potentially cost me over a full year quite a few points because the, I was still think I could maybe get the odd squeeze the odd quarter point out of bet victim more than perhaps some of the other bookmakers that I use so um, yeah so We'll make mistakes. We've got to learn from mistakes. I never, I would never lump on. If I was going to lump on now, I'd just lump on and bet fair. So anyway, it's just an example of if you've got a strategy, a betting strategy. You need to stick to it, um, and that counts for lots of things in betting. Um, but for me, what it's more about actually, I've learned my lesson hard the hard way, and now I split my bets more, and um, I stick to that all the time um, because that is the ultimate price you pay for lumping onto something so i just wanted to show you that it's not because it's a fantastic win because it's no there's quite a few i could show you quite a lot of wins like that to be honest but it just i made a mistake and uh you know i've, I've paid for it in the long run probably um so have a have a plan depending on how much you're betting if you are betting in, in quite significant amounts you know my advice is split your bets across a number of bookmakers and bet fair if uh, so be it okay thanks so how has betting changed my life this is my house in spain I have a villa and an apartment. I drive a BMW 6 Series Coupe, although I'm not a car fanatic. I own my own home, mortgage free. My betting has given me the lifestyle and freedom to spend a lot more time in the sun when I wish. I am not showing you any of this to be flashy. I can assure you it's just so you know my lifestyle is achievable and betting has certainly been a huge part of me not only attaining all of this but it also gives me the freedom to enjoy it as well. In the next video, in a few days time, I'll be running through how you can do exactly what I do. I'll show you some of the microsystems, some of which are available free for you to use right away. I'll show you the results of using these microsystems and how easily they can turn your betting around. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I had to share with you. Hopefully, now you can see I am the real deal and I have nothing to hide, unlike so many other tipsters out there. I look forward to sharing more with you very soon. Keep an eye on your inbox.